presenting the CW Crew. Dana and Keith, thank you so much for being with us here on the CW Twin Cities. It's an honor to talk to you. I've talked to you in the past. Uh, great to talk to you again. We're talking about Cutler's Court. The show airs weekdays right here on the CW Twin Cities. Tell us what we are going to see. You are going to see two judges helping couples figure it out. Whatever their relationship issues are, uh, we are going to talk about it. We're going to help them figure it out and hopefully put them on the right path to success as a couple. And we try to do it with a little humor and a little grace. Definitely. And you guys definitely pull that. You, you pull both of those off very well. I've seen a couple episodes of the upcoming season. There's paternity uh, situations and then there's relationship situations, marriage, boyfriend, girlfriend. Tell, tell me what kind of things, what kind of relationships and what types of things, situations we're going to see on the show. Well, it's interesting. This, uh, we have everything. My mother-in-law doesn't like me. My friends think my girlfriend is terrible. Um, we've broken up. Who gets our fur baby? My wife spends too much money. Anything that you can have in a relationship, we're talking to folks about it. We're working through it. And in some instances, we're being asked to say, should I, should I go or should I stay? And we're telling people straight out, this is the problem and this is what you should do. And sometimes we tell them, you got to go. And one of the terms that I've seen, that I saw used in the show, which maybe I'm just out of it, or maybe you guys coined the phrase, a situationship. What's that all about? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, no, we didn't coin it. We can't take credit for situationship. <laughs> okay. uh, a situationship is where two people find themselves, they don't really define it as a relationship, but it's a little more than a friendship. It's a, con a convenient for the moment, for that situation, hence a situationship. And sometimes it's a, si a situationship can be three people involved in a relationship. Sometimes the third person doesn't know there's a third person. <laughs> um, and that's always um, fascinating <laughs> to find out, oh, it's three of us in this? I didn't know, nobody yeah. told me. So yeah, those situationships are something else. And you guys are you guys are balancing a tight, uh, you know, there's a fine line because you, get, you guys have humor, entertainment, but also you're dealing with situations that are major issues in people's lives. How do you balance that? And do you ever feel, you know, do you ever feel in danger being, you know, making decisions for, for these people that are so life changing uh, for them? We recognize that people take what we say with some value and with some weight. And so we try not to be just flippant with our advice, but uh, at the same time, they're coming to us asking us what we think. And so we think we owe it to them to tell them what we think and how we see it from our vantage point based on what they share with us. So, yeah, we do recognize the gravity of what we say at times, but we think it's important that we give them our honest opinion. And we try to do it with some humor, but also respectfully, because these are real people with real problems and we don't want to make a mockery of it. That's not what they're to, trying to do. We really do want, at the end of the day, to have been a help to those couples because that's what they came to us for. And you guys do a great job of handling that, so um, awesome job there. Uh, I'm married, so I know reality. I know you guys are the experts. You, you guys are out there giving, giving the, uh, helping other people out, but at the same time, any marriage is gonna have problems. So when you guys come out there, do you ever have days when when you guys need your own court, you know, you guys <laughs> come out to work and you guys, you guys maybe hate each other that day. You got to come out there and, and go through with the job anyway. What's that like? You know, that doesn't happen much. Yeah. We've been together so long. It's a real easy ebb and flow. Occasionally we get sideways with each other, but even that's different at this point. At 41 years, you figure out, ah. Eh, I don't want to have this fight. It's, it's not. Whatever I'm upset about, is it really worth it? And you figure out at this point, you, you're you like, eh, you pick your battles. And, and we just, we don't have a lot of them anymore. So, no. So far, we haven't had no. a moment. <laughs> now, do we disagree on the show? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I'm trying to convince her I'm right. She's trying to convince me that she's right. And... You know, sometimes one of us wins, sometimes the other one wins. Yeah. Do you put on a good face and then, and then when you get home, are you ever like, what were you thinking? 
Well, <laughs> well why we do that on the show? We Sometimes. do that, yeah. Okay, During our deliberations right process, I'm like, what are you doing? Well, what are you doing? What are I you thinking? Why, why, why in the world <laughs> would you say that? Why would you think that? Yeah. And that, that's one of the, the, the features of this show is that the viewers get to see us during our deliberation. So they get to see us having this conversation. Very cool. Yes, great show. Um, like I said, you guys do do a great job of balancing the humor and the entertainment, but also realizing that you are dealing with real issues, real people, real lives. So Dana Keith, awesome talking with you again. CW Twin Cities fans, make sure you check it out. Cutler's Court show airs weekdays right here on the CW Twin Cities. Thanks, guys. Right. Thank you. Thank you.